Hey, Mike, has it occurred to you this is what you were brought in to do in 2020? Was to yeah, I mean, I feel like that's kind of been the mantra for the last you know few weeks of season. So yeah, no, I like it. How are you feeling about that? Like finally getting this opportunity healthy? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's been a long time coming. I know 2020 was uh, when we tried to t almost tape my arm together to get me to go out there and it just didn't last. So it's going to be good to go out there with a fresh and healthy arm. How would you describe your season this year, all the things that have happened? Uh, a roller coaster. Uh, it's, uh, you know, ups and downs. There's some, you know, mild injuries. There's uh, illnesses. So, I mean, it's just uh, good to finally be here and just uh, be in this environment right now. Mike, you mentioned two years ago. I mean, this was first game of the NLDS against the Dodgers, and you're doing everything you can to try to get through that game, and you come out. I mean, it's kind of, have you thought much about full cycle? Here we are with another opportunity to, to redo that again, and, and now you're healthy to sort of redemption type time? Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely felt that way. I mean, I knew, you know, I was kind of, had my back against the wall the last time and didn't know how long I was going to be able to last. So, I mean, I mean, these are the moments you, you dream of when you're sitting in the off season that, uh, you know, year and a half I had to just rehab this elbow. I mean, it's for this opportunity right here. You've thrown the ball pretty well your last three outings. It seemed like you got yourself into a nice rhythm and, and got some things going. Did this time off with the illness, I mean, are you still feeling like you've, you've got what you had towards, towards the back end of the season? Yeah, no, I mean, I feel like it's a, uh, I mean, that was, that was a good little rest. I think that might have been even necessary. So uh, I think it did me more benefit than it would uh, hurt me. The outings against the Dodgers this year didn't go as, as you would have liked. Were those outings where you just didn't have your stuff going into them and you were battling, or the outings where you had your stuff and maybe didn't make the pitches that you wanted to? Is there anything to be learned out of those outings coming into this? It, it was a combination of both. I mean, you look back at both outings. I mean, even the one here, if I, you know, get that slider down to Muncie, or probably, you know, in the sixth inning with one run or whatever it was, you know, and then, you know, it's kind of se seemingly been like, one mistake and they I mean they're a team that's you know they capitalize on any mistakes they don't they don't miss those so they uh you know kind of put a spotlight on those mistakes I guess you could say but I feel like I had good stuff against them the last couple times I know a couple starts ago you were dealing with some stuff maybe it was your knee um and, and you said you kind of overhauled kind of your training your between starts your what you, what you did with the with the trainer training staff and that kind of thing have you kind of kept on that progression generally and how much has that like your kind of new between starts routine helped you yeah no I mean it's been it's been a lot there's been a lot of different uh therapeutic resources we've uh used on on this knee but uh yeah no I feel like I'm in a good spot and I feel like we've been uh maintaining the same exact once that one kind of week plan worked it was like let's mimic that the best we can and you know tinker with it whatever you know may be needed when you were rehabbing you said like this is obviously the goal did you like put yourself in the frame of mind that like of this maybe this exact situation oh yeah I mean I feel like I almost knew before the season that if we we're going to go in the postseason we're going to have to get through the Dodgers to you know to advance further in the postseason so I mean I think we all kind of had that idea in our head and not to kind of belabor the 2022 start but but can you kind of take us back through like you said you were kind of piecing things together like you weren't sure where your arm was but you just wanted to go to it like what do you remember about that that going into that start and kind of how badly you wanted it and and you think in hindsight maybe you pushed it too much there, or did you just really want it that bad? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was both. I don't think I pushed it too much because nothing worse came out of it. It was just a, a high risk, high risk, high reward kind of scenario. We knew going into it, I had a torn UCL. I opted to to pitch, and so it was almost like, how could we figure out a way to pitch? And it was, uh, you know, different things working with different uh, guys in the weight room, and then uh, kind of really almost had my arm taped into a. Sp <laughs> This, this this spot and was able to go out there and I threw a bullpen and my bullpen was electric like a couple of days before that and after that that's when I like literally beelined it over to AJ and I was like AJ I'm I'm taking the ball game one if you'll give it to me and I was like very confident that I was going to be okay and still looking back I not saying that would have lasted much longer but I, even going back and looking at the video it was that second pitch to Seager I threw a change up and my elbow comes down and hits the inside of my knee on that change up and it was after that it was like my stuff ticked down and then once we went back in the dugout and tried to do our oil change where I was putting the Mark Pro on, trying to pump the arm, it was like, went back out there and I was like, first pitch of Bellinger was like 89 and almost at his head and then next slider in the dirt and it grabbed and that's when I knew it was like, all right, it's ran, it, ran, it ran its course. So in hindsight, I mean, that was obviously a division series start. You're mm -hmm. comfortable with kind of the decision you made to really try and push it there? Yeah, so I mean, like this, what? Is what it's, this is what it's about. I mean, this is, regular season's, you know, means a lot to get here, but this is like, 
everything you play for. Okay, Kevin. Oh, sorry. Hey, Mike, heading into that series against New York, there was a lot of talk about Max Scherzer and Jacob DeGrom, and then you see what you did on Friday night, what Joe did on Sunday. What do you feel like those performances say about the potential of this rotation, this group as a whole, and what you guys could do here in the, the deeper parts of the postseason? I mean, I think it says a lot about the, the team we actually have. I mean, you got to see it kind of come together on both sides of the field, and I felt like that's where in a lot of the season, like we had – a great season, a lot of wins, but I feel like we had a lot, everyone I think feels like we had a lot more potential in that locker room, you know, and it was just like, it was one side of the field is working, the other side of the field is working. And then when you see it finally come together and that's like what I've been saying about this, you know, squad the whole time, the resilience, the, you know, dropping three to teams we should have beat and coming back and beating another team, you know, in a three game set. And it's just like, that's, that's what's carried over. And I think this would even got us going into the series. It wasn't even, I mean, we knew who was on the other side of the field, but it was, it was just another day for us at the park. Okay, Kevin. Mike, you get pretty amped for a start in May. Um, your recollections of 2018, your start in the DS for uh, for the Indians at the time. You're more amped? Yeah. No, I mean it's a this is a totally different animal. And I think uh, I think I learned something in that one and going into it trying to almost pretend it's another day, pretend it's like another start, and then it was uh, you know, it was impossible to ignore the magnitude of that game. And uh, I think the more I kind of accepted the, the challenge and, you know, accepted the fear that you're going to have in, in, in wanting success and dancing with that, it was, you know, I think how I'm going to handle this next start. It's like understanding the magnitude of it and not denying that it's not a huge, huge game for the Padres and myself included. Hey, Jay. Uh, hi, Mike. Uh, I know that you are came from the second Tommy John surgery. Mm. Uh, Everyone say it's not easy from coming back from second one, but anyway, you you came 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 back and during the, when you look back the re, when you look back the rehab process, what was the biggest challenge and how did you overcome it? I mean, to be completely honest, this process was a lot smoother than my first Tommy John, you know, nine years ago. So I mean, I think the biggest process was the mental hurdle of like try not to look at statistics, try not to listen to the outside voices and like understanding that this is, you know, I'm my own person, those guys that came out of this. I think the biggest was just the fear of really not being able to throw or not have my stuff again. And I think once I got to throwing and seeing like, oh, I'm still me, <laughs> that, that, that's when it all started clicking. But as far as the process and the rehab, like, I mean, it was light years better than my first one. It took me probably a year and a half, if not longer, to get back to seeing any kind of the same potential I had before Tommy John and this kind of, it's been a roller coaster, but I can I have a lot more feel for what's going on right now. 